Hello all. Welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net on performance testing. The last class we had about the overview on load test. We talked about what all the most frequently actions. Then uh, we talked about the architecture, how it evolved over the years. Then we talked about what is the customer base, what is online users, what is concurrent users. Then we also talked about what are the different uh, types of load performance testings. In fact, one person has asked uh, to clarify specifically on uh, system-wise, what is the impact of load testing, how it happens, what do we mean by concurrent users, that I am going to explain now. I am switching to a paint screen. Okay. Now let me draw something over here. Assume that this is the web server. Okay. Assume that this is the application server. Assume that this is the database server. And there is a firewall. Right. And uh, this is internet. And uh, this is the user's machine. Okay. Now, this is a uh, user, this is internet, this is firewall, this is web server, this is application server, this is database server. Okay. Now, when users are sending information, correct, the request goes from this machine to this machine, internet. Then from internet, it has to cross the firewall of your application that you are accessing. A firewall is nothing but a security software. Then it reaches the web server. There is some processing happening in the web server. Okay. After that process, it goes to application server. Then again, there is some processing happening in application server. People call this as business rules. Then it goes to the database server. Then the data storage happens. Then this is the request reaches from here to the database. Okay. Let me make it clear. This is DB, right? So far the requests have gone in this direction. Now response has to come back, right? From the database, okay, the operation is successful. Response comes back. Again, some amount of processing happening here. Again, the response goes back to the web server. It crosses the firewall, it goes to the internet, then from internet you get back this response to the user. Everywhere it may take milliseconds. So everywhere there is something called latency. Okay. That's called uh, latency. Latency meaning there is a delay, right? This may take some uh, time, this may take some milliseconds, this may take some milliseconds, but if you add overall, there is a delay. So you won't get anything just like that in an instance, right? It will take a few seconds. The few seconds depend upon what is the delay, right? Now, user 1, this is user 1 who is accessing the system. Now, at the same time, I have another user, right? This is the terminal, this is the keyboard. User 2, for example, user 1 sends the information. He or she gets back the response. After that, user 2 sends that request. For example, you are looking at a flight booking, right? In that flight booking, once user 1 gets the response, after that, if user 2 sends the request, those requests are not treated as concurrent. When we say user 1 has sent the request, the request is traveling somewhere here. At that time, user 2 also fires the request, right? Then user 2 will get the response, right? But it may take some time. So the machine has to process two requests now, right? User 1's request is somewhere here. 
user 2 also at the same time sends the request. That means concurrent requests meaning one user sends, sends the request before that user gets the response another user also sends the request. At that point of time both the requests are outside the machines of user 1 and 2 they are traveling within the system those two are concurrent right because of concurrency imagine you are doing something at the uh, say hotel or mall at the counter if people are giving one after the other the money and then get the bill it is easy but four people uh, just show the dollar bill to the or the give the money to the counter guy which one he can pick up he has got only two hands right if more people show at the same time then it's a problem so that is called the concurrency if people are doing one after the other that is called the sequential if people do together that is the concurrency concurrency will choke the system when systems get choked they either become slow or they crash so testing with simultaneous or concurrent users to the system is part of performance testing. I hope this is clear. Okay. I am coming back to the notepad. Now, so we talked about how requests and responses travel. Because of that, there is a latency right and so someone is asking why there is a delay <laughs> to understand this you need to understand one more thing that is called request breakdown okay request or response breakdown request or response breakdown meaning okay let us take this simple example you want to call a shop and then order something right maybe pizza okay you know the shop name but you do not know the number correct so first you need to go to the telephone directory and then uh, based on the name you have to search get the number right based on name get the number understand this same way in the web when you give say www.openmentor.net this is the name but ultimately it maps to an IP address IP address is the unique address across the world to locate the machine so IP address is like the phone number this is like the shop name in the web you might have seen in the browser uh, connecting to right Res finding the name right that means from name I need to resolve the IP address right resolve IP address this is called DNS lookup DNS meaning domain name server this DNS lookup may take anywhere between 10 and uh, 100 milliseconds across the internet for any site it will not come within just one microsecond so DNS lookup based on the name of the website or the web application to resolve the IP address it takes time that's the first delay second delay is connection right you call the shop Okay, you got the phone number. You call the shop, right? Uh, but nobody picks up the phone, right? And uh, it says you are in the queue. There are other customers waiting, right? So, by the time you call, it is ringing. There is some amount of time by by when the other side, the operator, picks up for that hotel or that restaurant, right? That is a time right no one picks up right at that point of time there is a delay you are waiting 
it may be just one ring tones or two ring tones or three ring tones or even 10 or 15 or a message saying please hold right your call is important to us our currently all our customer support executives are handling other customers please wait right so you wait that is why in the browser you will be saying waiting right so there is a connection time so connection has a latency to the website once the connection is made right then byte transfer before that even before that there is something called SSL okay secured socket layer secured connections right suppose uh, you connect the operator connects but still operator says hey please verify your name please verify your address right if you are calling a bank they will ask I have a credit card code they will say okay what's your credit card number what's your name uh, there are some questions they ask right security questions why they ask because they want to answer only to the correct set of people so firewall itself is a security measure it will ensure the requests are coming from correct IP addresses right or fake IP addresses or authorized IP addresses or unauthorized IP addresses so there is a secured connection there is a sec SSL validation that will happen that will have some time okay then request is transferred to uh, server that means you finished your question to the operator the operator listens to your question and operator takes some time right operator takes uh, some time to answer right so that is that means operator is processing doing some process he, he may ask please hold on I will check back your records and then get back to you right he or she may be talking to somebody else maybe supervisors then only that person can answer that's a processing time right operator has now processed then operator starts answering right the answer may have that means server starts responding sending data back to you right that means the operator in the shop is called answering back now when the operator is answering back operator will answer in sentences so you may have to acknowledge it right at that point of time the first line of answer will come at some time then time for operator to answer fully right you might have asked a question there's a dispute in my credit card bill why is this then this person will say on this date uh, you have made a credit card transaction in Boston City using this credit card for this cab for this taxi this transaction amount is $82 and uh, have you done this before is it your transaction the time is this so operator has to explain all these things it takes time correct once operator answered fully right then only the whole uh, query that you have given to the operator is fully satisfied right so there is a DNS resolution time there's a connection time there's a security questioning time there is a time to transfer the request there's a time for the operator to process there's a time for the operator to respond fully right here also there is one thing when is the first sentence of the operator as answer comes back right so because if you are waiting for say five minutes and the operator has not even answered single sentence it's a problem to you but he says operator is now start answered something then he asks you to wait it gives you some feeling so the first answer the first sentence of the answer same way in web scenario there is something called first byte right first byte reception when is the first byte received when is the whole answer received when is the whole response received all these things take time uh, if you add all these things add all these time 
that is called total response time. So for the end user, the total response time is a breakup of all this and that goes through all these layers, right? It goes through all these layers one after the other and each layer has its own latency, right? So that is why when concurrent requests are coming, the processing of every machine goes high, right? When processing of every machine goes high, that means CPU use used more, memory is consumed more, right? Network is consumed more. Of course, disk is consumed more. Right? When you put more people in the car, car needs to or use more petrol to pull all these people. If you are going at a high speed, car needs to use more petrol. Same way, petrol is the ingredient for the car. Same way, CPU, memory, network, disk are the ingredients for the system to give the response. So when more users come, more CPU, more memory, more network, more disk. When more people come, when all these things are utilized, system becomes slow. That is why concurrency test is extremely important. Okay. This is one important point in all the performance testing. So during performance testing, we want to see the response time and we want to know the breakdown of the response time how much time it takes to connect how much time it takes to get the first byte how much time it takes to get the whole response then how much cpu is used how much memory is used how many networks are used how many disks are you disk space is used right how many bytes are used if you measure all these things and plot them right then it becomes a perfect performance test. Right? I will stop here in this session. Next session, we will continue on load testing. Thank you.